Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Pisces weekly guidance message for this upcoming week. In this message, Pisces, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is all headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Pisces, let's dive in here and see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for this week. Most important message here for Pisces, Spirit. What do my Piscean friends need to see? The Queen of Wands is in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. That's actually the card that just fell out here. I do feel like there is somebody that is a little bit controlling is how I take that energy, to be honest with you, Pisces, trying to have control over a particular situation. Okay. I will say you are walking away from this particular person. And even though it may be difficult, it may feel like it's a sacrifice. This is somebody who that you are walking away from. Okay. Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups on in the reverse. Eight of Cups. The Moon energy. Just a lot of secrets. A lot of things hidden. I feel here this person has caused a lot of delays in your life, Pisces. And feeling as if you're ready to release. The energy surrounding you this week is the sun, the three of cups with the six of swords. So walking away from a situation that is no longer serving you, focusing on happiness, focusing on health, focusing on prosperity. I do feel like you are taking a lot of time by yourself. Be mindful of isolation. Okay, so try not to spend too much time alone, maybe reaching out to friends, family members to kind of connect. If there is nobody like that that you can connect to. Maybe there's groups in your areas of like-minded people that maybe have the same hobbies or likes. That's something that you can look into. But just focus on keeping that balance, focusing on peace, focusing on prosperity, okay? Some of you could be going through some court situation here with the justice energy. Now, this is only a select few, so I'm going to throw this out there. And I do feel like this is going to work. It's going to be okay. There might be some compromises that you have to make, but I feel here everything is going to work itself out. You are headed in a positive direction, okay? I do feel like there is a new person that's going to come into your life that is going to, they're going to be better than the person that you're walking away from. You're going to have a deeper connection, more intense connection, but you're not going to be open to this experience if you're still holding on to this controlling situation. So Pisces, let's clarify the sun, the three of cups, and the six of swords. What does Pisces need to know here? Please and thank you, spirit. So no matter how difficult it may be, I feel like you are looking at a situation very clearly. Is this really what I want for my future? Now, this person has caused a lot of conflict, a lot of confusion, and I feel like that's what you're walking away from. So let's clarify the Six of Cups, the Hermit energy with the Justice in the position of the challenge here. Part of the challenge here, Pisces, is you go back and forth, should you stay or should you go? And I also feel an energy of maybe ignoring your intuition. There's obviously a need 
that this person is feeling in your life. Otherwise, you wouldn't keep going back. So in order to solidify this ending, to completely walk away from this person like you intend, you're going to need to meet that need in on another direction, in another person or at another place. But there's something here that this person is giving you that right now they're currently the only one that's fulfilling that need. You're going to know what that need is more than I am. It's going to be different for each individual person. But I feel like this person knows that and that's part of how they keep the control here. This ending isn't going to be easy, but I do feel like there is, there's a lot of deception. There's a lot of things that are hidden that aren't coming to the forefront. And I feel Pisces that you intuitively know that in order to attract something new, you're going to have to walk away from this particular situation. Now, just because it's the right decision doesn't make it easy, but it is worth it, Pisces. Okay, so trust the process here. Let's pull a few cards out for your advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For liking, subscribing, sharing the content. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Hanged Man, Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse. So, the advice guidance moving forward, Pisces, you're going to have to make a decision. And until this decision is made, there's going to be the standstill. Now, this is going to spew over into other areas of your life besides relationships. But this pause that you're experiencing right now, it's going to continue until you're able to release this particular person. Let's pull a soul truth message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Who can I serve today? In a world lacking soul-to-soul -soul connection, small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experience an avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Who needs you today? Today's soul action, listen to your heart. Who needs you? Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. Beautiful. So getting out of your own experience and even just offering a neighbor to help carry their groceries in or paying for somebody's groceries at the grocery store. Those are all small acts that just help uplift people's spirits. You know, when somebody does something kind to you, it kind of makes you want to do kind things to other people, paying it forward. Um, I do feel like there is a need to kind of take yourself out of this experience. Try to look at this situation from a broader perspective, Pisces, because right now I feel like you're caught up in this energy of getting a need met with a particular person when there are other options out there. The situation is becoming very challenging. I can see that. Um, and it's also blocking new experiences. So it's up to you. The ball is in your court, but if you want things to start progressing, moving forward, you may have to put this to the side for a little bit. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.